Good day everyone, and we are here now at National University and we were gonna go around here at our school to check some coffee shops and able to see the affordable coffee shops from stu for students and come and join us to explore. Uh, because uh, 
it is ano po, uh, affordable kasi kagaya ko pong uh, estudyante, limited lang po yung nakukuha kong alam. Hmm. Thank you. Depende pa rin po ba kayo? Mag-i-insist po sila ng 10% kung wala. Depende pa rin po ba kayo? Depende pa rin po. Yung same ng quality ng drink sila yung mag-i-insist. Ano pa rin? Pag-i-stay pa rin. Ano po yung in-order ng coffee mo? Yung kiwi fruity. How was it naman po? Masarap lang. Matanggap. Magpano po yung nakalit? Thirty nine pesos. Can you rate it out of ten? Nine. Nine. Why nine? The last one is because the price is higher. Okay. Are you going to pay the price? 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 Okay. Thank you. Now we're done here at Heaven Hill. Please visit this coffee shop. Now we're done exploring the different coffee shops around National University. It's time for us to conclude all the information we gathered um, from different coffee shops. Based on the interviews we conducted from the customers of different coffee shops around National University, they don't matter the shifting of the price equilibrium and production to the right as long as the taste of the coffee remains consistent and delicious. Meanwhile, the examples of businesses who apply the macroeconomic concepts in order to achieve a substantial outcomes are all the coffee shops that we interviewed because even if they are just a few meters away from each other, they still manage to get some customers due to its price, which is a budget-friendly, and they have their own signature coffees so that they can produce more supply to their consumers because of its uniqueness.